Talk about these new hires in the uh, coaching carousel, if you will. Sean Payton returns this time as the head coach for the Broncos after Denver acquired him for their 2023 first round pick. Uh, they had the 29th overall, the 2024 second round pick, and a 2024 third round pick. And then, of course, D'Amico Ryans uh, of the 49ers as a DC. He is now going home to the Texans. He was the favorite uh, for them, of course. He had a very impressive season with the 49ers, and he was drafted by the Texans and spent a majority of his career there. When I look at these hires and then I look at how the um, the win totals for both of these teams were last season, I have a question for you. So both those teams had disappointing seasons. Obviously, you don't need a new head coach if you had a great season. Uh, the Texans' win total opened up at the beginning of 2022, four and a half, the lowest among all of the teams. They ended 3, 13, and 1. Broncos opened at 10, a lot more promise there, and they ended the season 5 and 12. Do you think that what do you think these head coaches are going to be able to do um, in terms of these teams' wins? Are you expecting a higher win total for? the Texans and or the Broncos with that uh, D'Amico and Sean Payton? So for the Texans, no. Um, you know, I, I think they still had a pretty solid coach last year. And, you know, they ultimately let him go because they won that final game of the season, which cost them the first, the number one overall pick <laughs> in the draft, which, uh, you know, kind of stupid when you're a bad team. But yeah, I mean, D'Amico Ryans is a very good coach, great defensive mind. You know, he played a little bit for the Texans. So I think in over the long term, it's a very good fit. But the Texans just don't really have the pieces to turn it around from one year to the next, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I think it'll be a little bit more of a, a rebuilding process for D'Amico Ryans, and it's going to take a little bit yeah. of time. So don't really see much of a change for them going forward for next year. And for yeah. the Broncos, I mean, you know, the win total was set pretty high last year because the yeah. expectations were less. so high. Yeah. Right? Like the expectations were very high when they acquired Russell Wilson. And I know you and I both, you know, we both said we don't really see this Broncos team really translating to what the expectations were. Um, do I think the offensive struggles will get better for the Broncos with Sean Payton? Yes, I, I think so. Um, you know, he's an offensive genius uh, when it comes to football. So I think he'll definitely help them. But still, you know, you look at that division, the the Chiefs, the Chargers, like the Broncos at best are the third best team in that division. So I don't really see too much for the Broncos. I think Russ is a little overrated. I think that their their win total is going to drop. I, I can't imagine it's going to be 10 again. I wonder if that'll drop down to maybe like seven or eight. I think they'll win more than five games. I do think that Russell Wilson is overrated, but I think that Sean Payton is clearly a better coach uh, than Nathaniel Hackett. And I just don't think that Russell Wilson and, and Hackett kind of ever got on the same page. And I do know that one of his favorite quarterbacks, one of Russell Wilson's favorite quarterbacks was Drew Brees. And, uh, you know, so I'm sure he's excited. So I feel like the books aren't going to put him at 10 again. Maybe they'll put him at seven and 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 then I, I don't know what exactly I do there. But I think they get more than five wins. But I, I agree with you. I agree with you on D'Amico Ryans. I think that it's going to be more of a build. I mean, you look at even Robert Sala. It took him a couple seasons to get the Jets, you know, over their win total, um, if you will, the, some of these some of these teams that have all of the pieces, it could it could happen pretty fast, but I'm not sure to your point that the Texans um, are one of those teams. 